morning, guys. Welcome to Catch a Can Day. We are on the way to a lumberjack show. It's a little bit ghetto today. Instead of them providing us with a tour bus to get to the place, they gave us a map to walk to the place. So we're now walking down to the location. Like, oh, you got 30 minutes to get to the location. You wait, just wait for the show. Try to walk down to our location. Just seeing tad bit ghetto in my size voice. You have a map to follow. Let me show you our map. This is a, a tour that was paid for and booked through Carnival. It's like what's the plan about when I get back? Because we paid like close to $180. It's on the left side. It was $180, $179, $900. And anyway, let's got two buses out here. It's like, oh, it's just faster that way. You pay it was like you want to get the Ford experience, but we're going to go with it. And yeah. Hopefully they provide us with a ride back or we can leave early. That may be a good thing. We can have time to do a little shopping, so. Let's see what happens. We just following everybody else. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna stop and get a picture. You too, Of this. And keep walking. We're dock next to Ovation of the Seas. And this is where the famous YouTuber Chris Wong, Chris Wong Vlogs work at in the casino. Hello, Chris. You probably never watched my vlog, but hey, Chris. This is a great last son of a shock show. Still was ghetto. I had to walk right over here. And it's a line of people waiting to get in, so. Now if you can get a line, lots of crab legs to eat. And go check out the show.
and we got 79 stairs to walk down 79 stairs to walk down here we go boom boom finally made it down the center is beautiful hope it's worth the unlimited craft for the 79 steps i had to walk what is it first course right is salads Delicious. As you can see, the plate is gone. It's gone. 
Go. Round two. Pull the crab piece. Delicious. We got cheesecake for dessert, but we probably can go touch that. It's really good. It's good. I may try it. That's round three. I'm going to be taken out by the crab. I'm going to try it. This is the view over here. We're going to see if I can go around this corner. Thought I saw a waterfall. The crab was good, y'all. It took me out. Oh, Jen, there's a waterfall over here. Let's walk around here, y'all. Let's see the crab house. Let's go see the waterfall. I got so many, much footage of waterfall in a commode, which is weird, okay? Yeah. Here we are. Isn't that gorgeous? The trail. Look at this view. I tell y'all, the views of Alaska has been absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> absolutely stunning. Amazing. Breathtaking. Love it. Headed back to the ship. Shopping is complete. Say about this on board. Okay, guys, so we're back on the ship, and I want to give you guys my opinion of the Great Alaskan, <laughs> excuse me, Lumberjack Show um, here in Ketchikan, Alaska. I'll tell you what I thought, my honest opinion, and yeah. So we paid $179, $180 per person for this excursion. <laughs> excuse me, got the hiccups. It was, let me get a bottle of water, hold on. I gotta stay hydrated. Um, so yeah, we paid $179 per person for this excursion. <clears throat> it includes the Lumberjack Show, as well as unlimited crab and drinks, right? Personally, it was not worth the money. Um, there was a part of the excursion you could have did just, just with the Lumberjack Show. I'm not sure what the price was for that. Um, but here's why I feel that way. Nowhere nowhere when purchasing these tickets it said that you have to walk to the excursion granted it's about about a 15 minute walk um through the downtown area which is pretty small it was really like the streets one turn two turn three turns to get there so it wasn't like we could got lost but there was a lot of people out there with mobility issues my sister had mobility issues that we thought we was walking to literally get on a bus or we whatever it's like, oh, get down here by 7.15 a.m. We rushed down to the movie, got on a bus, only we told we got to walk. So that was kind of like, okay, you should have told us we had to walk. Um, so they had an option to get a cab, but just pay for it. Uh, yes, it's around the corner, but why am I pay for a cab when we wasn't even told that this excursion is a walking excursion? Nowhere listed. Nowhere listed um, about that. The show itself was good. Um... It wasn't great. Um, you guys see the clips. It was funny. Um, I guess I expected more lumberjackish. Is that a word? Lumberjackish activities. Lumberjackish thingies. Instead of so much clown around. It was definitely like a clown around skit. Something that I would say on the line for my opinion, like a three stool just <laughs> type of stuff. Let's be honest. It was very three stooges um, to me. So it was okay. It wasn't nothing. Hold on, y'all. Get my big forehead out the way. Sorry about that. It wasn't nothing to write home about it. Now I'm trying to get a shot while I'm talking. You know, I got to do both. Water and shot. Um, so afterwards, after the show, it was a restaurant across the way. I um, forgot that clip of that. We thought we're going to go over here and eat. We smell food, whatever like that. they like, oh, meet us at the gift shop. You know, for those who have the, the dining experience. Like, okay, cool. No, we go to one checker flag, go to another checker flag, which is around the corner. We go on a bus. They said a place you will eat at is 30 minutes away. What? <laughs> so we have to get on a bus to go 30 minutes out just to get our food. When we get there, another thing they don't tell us. They don't tell us it's 79 steps to get down to the restaurant. 79 steps to get down. Again, P 
people that have mobility issues, this is pink lemonade smeared off, by the way. People that have mobility issues. It's okay. Pink lemonade too strong. What had a problem with that? And so I'm like, why y'all don't tell people who have mobility issues about this stuff in advance? Didn't like that. Um, didn't like that. One thing about Alaska before my next point is it's a lot of young people work here. And believe it or not, they're from the States. So the two workers inside of our dining experience uh, was from Philadelphia and I think at the other place, Alabama, I think. So people are local, from the, East, from the States, whatever. The place was really, 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 really tight. Um, the table, our table mates was amazing. I did really, we really, a lot of educators at the tables. It was fun. Um, our conversation was good table mate conversation. But the thing I didn't like, we paid for all you can eat crab experience. It was dungeon crab. By the way, they was absolutely divine. They were delicious dungeon crabs. Very good. Um, but they act like they didn't want to give you more than like I guess they was told to give everybody two at a time. But if it's unlimited, they walk around with these big bowls. I know I showed the bowls. And they place two on your plate. But if it's unlimited, if you ask for another one, don't say, wait, I got to give everybody else some. Just go and throw me three on my plate right now. And then go get all these buckets. They had plenty of crap. It's not like they was trying to crap. I mean, they, they had plenty of meat. But it's unlimited. That's what we paid for. Let's talk about these drinks. I thought I was going to get lit on this scourge because it's unlimited drinks. They had red wine white wine beer and that's it no liquor don't advertise it for unlimited crabs and unlimited drinks adult beverage drinks if you already have beer wine you should have more like i like rum and vodka and tequila so that was something i thought was kind of weird what else about it? um some people felt that it was kind of rude that they took a little weight let you get more like that um, I think it could have been a little bit more hospitality, but I mean, yeah. Um, but like I said, the, the crab itself was delicious. The cheesecake was delicious. delicious. The salad was a little bit, they put a vinaigrette on it beforehand. It was not my flavor. Um, but overall, this will probably be my least favorite excursion out of all the ones we did. You agree, Janice? I agree. Yeah, definitely my least favorite excursion. If I come to Catch Can again, I wouldn't do it again. If I can just eat here, good. Yeah, agree. If I can just go to the crab shop, eat crabs, I would definitely do it. Yeah, I agree that part. Um, I think with the excursion they give you, they don't take in consideration that people want to shop. Um, luckily, we got back like an hour early or 45 minutes early. We had a chance to run to the gift shop and do, get some souvenirs, which is right outside the port area, and get some souvenirs for family and friends. But yeah, I wouldn't do this excursion again. All the excursions so far, this is one I wouldn't do it. I definitely wouldn't do it again. Um, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be um, at all. It was very kiddish. And for the price that we paid, honestly, it wasn't worth $180. It may be like $60. Definitely under $100. $180 per person, it wasn't worth it. Um, so, yeah, that's my review of Catch a Can. But I got some cute souvenirs. Souvenir shop was nice. Got some cute souvenirs <laughs> to all my members. Let me just give a quick shout out to all my members. Thank you so much. If you watch this far in the video series, let's know that I appreciate you. Wish the love and support and everything you do for the channel to help me do things for you all. Um, just like I did with my Hawaii series. I got you guys some amazing gifts just to say thank you for being channel members and supporting the channel. Um, so yeah, you'll be getting those within the next couple of weeks. Mail to your address. Okay, uh, we back on the ship at 12.30. This is all the board time. And get ready for some afternoon, evening activity. Well, we are full. We don't want no food. Um, but I, I think I'll try to pay deal or no deal. Y'all want to come? Let's go. Let's go. We just left Ketchikan. Uh, the ship's still there. We got a long route to Victoria. Isn't it pretty, though? So pretty. Now let's pay deal or no deal. Don't say
Star. Video killed the radio star. You officially made you two. Devil's like me tonight, y'all. Go devil, go devil, go devil, go devil, go devil, go 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 devil, go the devil, go the devil, go go the devil, go devil, go devil, go go the devil. First time playing the devil game, and I appreciate it. Thank you, the devil. We've been cutting it up with the one of the best cruise director ever, Erin, on the beautiful color of Splendor. So she sent us this beautiful note. 
and I've been very involved this cruise. I don't even much know my room number actually, cause I just told my name. But that's that, and I got it. And she said, "Oh my gosh, that's some good. That's some Ooh. cookies too." Yes, cruise director Aaron, do your thing, girl. We appreciate you. Thank you for Maxie's tonight, cause I'm hungry. Mm. 